absolutely crazy. I want to take crazy. a look at this. Did you see this ridiculous ESPN story where they rated the top 10 rookie seasons in WNBA history? And they have the unmitigated gall and audacity. I'm going into Stephen A. Smith's zone here. The blasphemous calling Candace Parker the best rookie season in the history of the WNBA. Caitlin Clark just broke 67 fucking <laughs> records. <laughs> and oh. you're sitting here telling me that Candace Parker, who joined a team. See, people don't know this. And that was my first F-bomb. It took 31 minutes. There we go. Candace Parker, when she got on that team, Lisa Leslie was out the year before. When she came, when she was drafted, Lisa Leslie came back. They also added Delisha Milton Jones. So they went from trash to a much better team. They went to, up to 20 and 14. And Candace Parker was playing next to a God darn Hall of Famer. Mm. Arguably one of the 10 best players in the history of the WNBA. Women's basketball. Who's six foot five, no less. And can dunk. Yes, and actually can dunk in a game. And you're going to compare this 18.5, 9.5, 3.4, 2.3 to the woman who just broke 67 records? 19, 5.7. The, the only time it's ever been done? Insanity. I, 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 and, then and, and, even, and then she's not even number two. She's three. <laughs> number two, Tamika Catchings. Now that's eight point six, eight point six, three point seven, two point nine. Look, Tamika, Tamika, hey, Candace Parker was a great player. Tamika Catchings was a great player. Tamika Catchings also joined a team that added players when she jumped on board. The top two scorers, her rookie year, were not the top two scorers the year before. Mm. They added talent. They got better as a unit. The only difference between this Indiana team and last year's Indiana team is Caitlin Clark. Nobody else. Simple. Their bench is atrocious. Sucks. They're trash. Beyond three players, I, and, and, I, and I, I like Lexi Hall. I like Lexi Hall, but she is a role. She's a flat role player, and you hope that she catches it. Dude, 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 dude. If anybody thinks Lexi Hall no. is anything but a role player, I'm going to leave my mind. Role player. She's a she's role a, player, she's a and role on player. some days she won't please. even take a shot. Please, Lexi, be a role player, folks. Nobody, don't, nobody, come in the chat. Tell me she's anything you need, more than a role player. You need Kelsey and Caitlin to go flat off to have a chance to win, because they get nothing from anyone else. Aaliyah Boston on occasion, and but those you, are the and, games and, and where Chrissy Sides play. plays like. Does her coaching special the the games that Leah Boston goes off are a majority of the games where Chrissy Sides decides to do her infamous Chrissy Side special where it's pain touches, pain touches, pain touches, where she does that over and over. It's not because she's getting nice shots in the look in the swing of the game. A majority of Leah Boston's games where she goes off is because Chrissy Sides is tunnel visioned in on feeding her the paint. The best Aaliyah Boston games are when she's doing around 14 to 18 points because she's just getting it in the stream of the offense. We're not forcing her the ball. And the times we do force her the ball, she's not, she doesn't have the fixation in her mind, I need to pound this 10 million times because I'm the game plan. No. When she gets it in the swing of the offense, she grabs it, quick move, brick. <laughs> she she Lexi Holt alerts the layups. We know this, and I agree with you. Someone here is saying um, Clark played with two All-Stars. I, 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 It doesn't matter if you have nothing beyond. And Aaliyah Boston is a hit-and-miss player from day to day. Since you put that, the pink hair back in, as you, you, you tell me all the time, since you put that pink hair back on, it ain't the same. And All-Stars, let's be real about the All-Star situation. And, and um, Rawhide just hit it perfectly. Last year, the leading vote-getter in the WNBA got 95,000 votes. This year, this year, Caitlin Clark got over 700,000 votes. And Asia Wilson, who led the league in votes last year, got over 600,000 votes, I think, around there. No one voted for this dumpster fire all-star game. So if Caitlin Clark wasn't there, you don't know what 
Aaliyah Boston would have got. I know I think she was an all-star last year, but let's be real. The all-star game in the WNBA is not really. I, I mean, let's let's be real. It's not a real reflection of the best players. And she'd be an all-star game whether it was an Olympic year or not. Yeah. Yeah, Leo Boston came in second in voting because of Caitlin Clark. Because of Caitlin Clark. Like, what are we it's talking crazy. about here? And, and again, you need more than three players to win. I love Lexi Hall. You need players like her, dogs, people that will dive on the ground, people that will scrap. You need them. But that is a role player. That is not a that is not something that I can rely on for 12 points a game. Now, Alyssa Smith's trash, Sister Noble. She's garbage. She's a she's, she's, a, she's a sack of potatoes. She sucks. She has soft hands. She can't make a layup. She can't grab a rebound. She can't shoot a mid-range. She can't do anything good. I, All she can do is bend over and pick up DJ Carrington off the floor. Has she stop left it right now, Has she Noble. left Connecticut since stop, then? Stop it right now. Has she left DJ Carrington since then? You're going to make me talk about now? Alyssa Smith? You're going to make me talk about Alyssa Smith right now? The biggest bum on and the Indiana Fever, and, and, the softest player on the Indiana Fever, the weakest minded player on the Indiana Fever. You're going to make me talk about an Alyssa Smith. Are you out your damn mind? Do you watch the games? You clearly don't watch the games. You maybe just see skin color and say, oh my God, she's so good. No, watch the games. Open up your eyes. Maybe do us a favor. Open up that third eye and watch from a different lens. And you'll see she's absolutely garbage. She's trash. She checks out. She mentally checks out. She physically checks out. And then she goes on Twitter, cries, and then Chrissy Sides is such a soft coach. She says, okay, Nalissa, next game we're going to feed you the ball. And then what do we do next game? We give her five, six, seven field goal attempts in the first quarter, and we play like absolute shit. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. And Aaliyah Boston is not the second best player on that team. Please. Kelsey Fucking Mitchell. Crazy. It's not even close. Aaliyah She's Boston not is not the second best player on that team. It's Kelsey Mitchell. It's clearly Kelsey Nonsense. Mitchell. It's clearly Kelsey Mitchell. Melissa Smith. Melissa Smith is terrible. Let, I, I'll pack Melissa Smith's bags for her. Are you nuts? I'll pack her bags for her. <laughs> Lexi Hole never checks out. Lexi Hole's, your, to your credit, who are you? Tony D. Absolutely right. Lexi Hole is the complete opposite of what Melissa Smith is. Lazy, not lazy. Dies for loose balls, doesn't die for loose balls. Tweets like a soft... Doesn't tweet at all and keeps it to herself. And does what does she do? She gets better. Now, Alyssa Smith can't shoot a free throw if it was to save her life. Lexi Hole goes from missing tons of layups. What do we see after the Olympic break? Yeah, she missed some here or there, but she wasn't the same Lexi Hole breaking every damn layup like she was before the Olympic break. What was Alyssa Smith before the Olympic break? And what was she after the Olympic break? The same sack of potatoes. Cut it out. How can you think that Aaliyah Boston, have me another one here, Toro Uem Kim Ikpi. How can you think Aaliyah Boston is the second best player on that team over Kelsey Mitchell? You can't possibly. There were, day, there were games where Kelsey Mitchell might have been better than Caitlin Clark on certain days. There were days like that that she may have played better than Caitlin Clark. There wasn't a day that Aaliyah Boston ever played better than Caitlin Clark. There was Aaliyah Boston. Never. There was never a game where we said, thank God Aaliyah played how good she played God. or else we would have lost. We never had that thought. Ever. Never. Boston is a three. She's a third option. She's a she's a, a good player. Her defense. Uh, um, what do I think about the Golden State Valkyrie? I hope they take uh, Nalissa Smith and make her the number one option and they'll win zero games. Um, and then you'll see really how bad she truly is. Um. I I love I again I love Lexi Hall, but I'm just telling you the truth. While I'm watching Tiffany Hayes for the, the the Aces go put up double digits off the bench, you need people to produce off your bench. You need a competent coach. Now Becky Hammond, she went from competent to saying some really dumb stuff the other day after they lost, where it was like, oh well, you know people are pissed. No, we'll get there, Jar Jar. We'll get the free. Bro, bro, they're pissed. Yeah, they want to beat you. You might as well just hang it up because you just told your teammate it's over because people are pissed and, you know. You Dude, she said they're celebrities. Cut yeah. it out. Celebrities, celebrities to whom? What? Kelsey Plum is the biggest celebrity because she could throw a fucking T-shirt further than everybody in the WNBA. What are you talking about, celebrity? No. Just Kelsey, because Kelsey Plum is, is a celebrity because she's white. 
Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Just because you guys are forcing shitty CarMax commercials down my throat that every time I see them, I want to change the damn channel. Just because you guys are forcing it down my throat doesn't mean you're a celebrity. There are tons of celebrities that are. I want to I want to hit one more thing for y'all before this on this list. You know who made this list at number 10? Angel Reese. Angel Reese said they've had the 10th best rookie season in all in history. In history of the WNBA. It's crazy. They will go out of their way. Thank you, uh, Tony D. Thank you, Tony D. Really appreciate you. I I, I appreciate we appreciate you, man. Thank you, Tony D. They will go out of their way to pick up Angel Reese no matter what they do. It's the same old garbage every single time. They, I mean, how can you have – I went through this. I went through it. And the, tri- the trip is – there have only been, I think – Aaliyah Boss is on the list. No. And she was double-double last year and won you, you, unanimous rookie of the year. Do you guys, uh, see, you guys see how easily we just pulled apart the narrative? You guys see how easy that is? Yeah.